I'm, I don't know if it's live because I just see this thing on the laptop. Now. Well, I am. Do you want me to shut it down until you live on yours? Um, okay, so I'm live now. Okay, so this is my first time going live on Facebook. And I don't know what I'm doing. How do I even know if I I don't know, on the laptop. Okay. Is anybody there? Try to see if people are there. Okay, so I think people are, are just coming on. So I decided to go live oh, because yeah. it's my sister's birthday. <laughs> So just waiting for some people to come. Aw, Samaria, I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Blair, how are you? How are you celebrating Lisa's birthday? If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. I'm on here for you guys. This is my first time going live on Facebook, so yes, please bear with me. It took me about 30 minutes. <laughs> to figure it out. So Blair, where are you from? Okay, so, okay, these are the comments over here. Hey everyone, if you just joined us, I am Raindrop Lopez, Left Eye Sister, and I just came on here just to celebrate her birthday with you guys because I never go live on Facebook. This is my first time, so. Like I said, bear with me. Quiet Lamound. Hi, Quiet Lamound. Bianca Tate. Hi, Bianca Tate. Are you guys doing anything special for Lisa's birthday? Yes. Have be having me birthday, Lisa. Um, sure. I'm doing great. Oh, you're in Orlando, Florida. Okay. Last week. On a boat. It was because I love boats. Hello, Rain. It's nice to meet you. I've met Ronald a few times. Tremicia. Tremicia, it's nice to meet you too as well. Are you in Atlanta? Where'd you meet my brother? Any questions or stories you want to know about? Lisa, just ask me, and if I know, I'll tell you. Any new music coming from you or Lisa? Okay, Bianca, ask that. Yes, more from Lisa. I don't really focus on music anymore, but if I'm working on a project as far as like a movie or a film, I will do some music to go along with that. And as far as Lisa's music, yes, she has some music that's gonna be coming up soon. I'm looking at probably next year, but I'm also working on her movie and her music will be incorporated in her movie as well. So I'm working on her biopic movie so we'll definitely have some music in there. It's net. Okay, let's see. Antoine Monique. Hi, Antoine. I have to meet you, Blair. I look forward to meeting you too, Blair, if you come to Atlanta. Michelle! Michelle was the best assistant I ever had, and she's a good friend. Hey, Mish. What was it like growing up with her? Okay, Antoinette asked. Well, Okay, so growing up with Lisa, it was amazing. First of all, she was like a second mom because my mom had to work and a lot of times my dad, he just wasn't around. So Lisa would literally have to babysit us at like maybe eight or nine years old. <laughs> Lisa was babysitting us. So Lisa would set booby traps. She was always a prankster. She would set booby traps around the house. Like we would walk through a door and like on top of the door would be maybe like a bucket with either water or just something crazy in it and we would open the door and it would just like come down on us so she was super fun to grow up with and she would make stuff i remember because we were poor we didn't have money so we couldn't buy the barbie dolls and the barbie doll houses so lisa would actually make the furniture out of a cardboard box lisa made a two-story barbie doll house out of a cardboard box and check this out with a working elevator 
I kid you not, the elevator worked. It was like you had to crank something and the elevator like went up and the dog could get out. And then there were like different rooms. It was like bedrooms and a, a living room and a kitchen. And it was like furniture. So she was like super duper creative. So, you know, it was really fun growing up with Lisa. Uh, okay, who else came on? Uh, let's see, Michelle, love you too, Michelle. So Tramisha said, I met you, I met him in Houston. Okay, you met my brother in Houston. Okay, let's see. Oh my, I can't believe you're on live. I know, I'm on live on Lisa's birthday. This is the only reason I would ever go live <laughs> on Facebook for my sister's birthday. Yes, she would be 50, 50 years old. That sounds so old, but it's not. It's like, it just depends on your mentality. Happy birthday, Lisa. Did Lisa always want to be an entertainer? Courtney asked. Um, you know what? I'm not going to say she always wanted to be an entertainer, but she knew she would do something really, really big. Um, she always knew she would be a star. Um, so either way, it worked out, you know, her being a star in entertainment. But, um, you know, she danced as well. She wrote poetry, she painted, she drew, and she can just create um, anything. She was good at most things, but one thing she was not good at. Can anyone guess? Wild guess. I'll tell you it was a sport. One sport that Lisa was not good at. If someone really gets it, I will send you, um, I will send you something. I'm not sure what it will be, but I will send you something uh, with Lisa on it. If you can guess what she was not good at. Okay, let's see who else is on here. Oh, hey, IG. <laughs> okay, IG, I'm live on Facebook as well. This is actually the first time I went live on Facebook. But you can ask me questions too because my assistant can let me know the question since I can't see it, and then I'll answer it. Okay, so let's see. Somebody answered over here. What, what did they say? Soccer. Nope, wasn't soccer. <laughs> nope. Okay, so again, I'll tell IG. Lisa was good at most everything, but it was one sport that she was not good at. If anyone could guess that, the so Facebook. Can we get another post? -a sure, all the fantasy one. Nina, Ray, Jay, and Raphael Sadiq is okay. That was Joshi. Okay, so as far as an album goes. The music we have left from Lisa, I'm probably going to use it for her projects, her film projects, her book projects. I'm probably going to put it on there and I probably will release a couple more. But I don't I don't really like messing with Lisa's music. You know, I don't I don't like changing it um, as far as remixing it. I don't really like doing that because she puts so much of her into the songs from Supernova. It's just like I kind of just want to leave them alone and use them like that but I may do like a poetry book with her lyrics from um, Supernova um, album. Okay, let's see what else. Ebony, hey Raindrop, I missed your cooking show on Facebook. Oh yeah, I always forget to mention stuff I'm doing. I am working on a cooking show. I uh, should be filming it this year. Um, I'll probably be out at the end of this year, next year. So, and also I'm so late finding out your mom's birthday. Yes, my mom's birthday was the 24th. One time I had a surprise party for Lisa and my mom. And I told both of them it was for so my mom. I was like, mom, let's plan a surprise party for Lisa. And I told Lisa, let's plan a surprise party for my mom. <laughs> so they're both helping me plan it. <laughs> and then I had to find a way to get them both together. Okay. So I'm at my mom's house. And I'm like talking to my mom on the phone. No, no, no. I'm talking to Lisa on the phone. And I'm like, Lisa, we have to find a way to get mommy out the house, you know, so we can decorate it. And so we came up with this story. Like, let's tell her that my brother Ronald got stopped by the cops or something. And my mom has to like sign something for him. So I tell my mom that. So my mom goes to Lisa's house. So now they're together. So they come to the house together. And my mom comes around the corner and everyone's like, surprise. And my mom's like, shh, no, 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 no. Lisa's not coming yet.
Lisa comes around the corner. We're like, surprise. And Lisa's like, what do you mean? It was for mommy. <laughs> so I actually have footage of that. I was recording it. But it was just really funny. It was it was actually confusing to me while I was. Okay, someone said Wilkerson Cordell. I know I, I know you. I love the song you and Lisa did together. It was called Riding By. That was actually the first song I ever recorded. Can you sing a little bit of it? Oh, <laughs> so long ago. I don't know if I remember the lyrics, um, Cordell. Uh, before I hang up, I will. Did Lisa know how to cook? Antoine asked. Yes. Lisa had two main dishes that she would cook, and they were her, her own recipes. One was seafood gum. Dish. I remember. Yeah. Um, that's when she ate shellfish. And the other one was seafood stuffing. And they were both so good. My all-time favorite was the seafood stuffing. It was like so good. Okay, so Lily. Hi, Lily. Lisa paved the way for so many people. She is an icon. She really did. And thank you for saying that. Let's see. Oh no, somebody guessed the basketball. Actually, basketball, even though she, she was short, Lisa can play some basketball. She could hoop. Is that Anna? No, oh, she was good at basketball. Kickball, nope. So for those just oh, joining us, dodgeball. no, not dodgeball, nope. So for those just joining us, I have a trivia question. Lisa was good at most things, but there was one sport that she was not good at. If anyone could guess that sport, the first person, I would send them something with Lisa on it. Okay. Tennis. Nope. Not tennis. Hockey. Someone said hockey. Nope. Wasn't volleyball. hockey. Volleyball. Nope. I actually played volleyball, volleyball in high school. But no, that's not it. I wasn't good, but I played. <laughs> I used to hit the ball and it would like go up to the ceiling. And say I was good. Are and I was on. any requests, like when they're requesting to join you on the video? Um, I don't really know how to do that. Um, hey, drop! I ordered a purple shirt from your store. Thank you, Phil. Oh, that's Phil. Phil, you've been a fan from the very beginning when I first started doing music. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, just because Sorry, it's just it's, it's just too much um, mm. going, on. and I can't see them anyway. Okay, so bowling. Ebony said Lisa wasn't good at bowling. Actually, Lisa was really good at bowling for me. <laughs> my mom, my brother, and Lisa were really good bowlers, and I, I was just not a good bowler. But what, yeah, you can put both. Um, let's see. Track? I just called a bow. So you gotta, um, I need a left eye hat. Are they still available? I'm not sure how to do that. Tehran? Tehran said, are the left eye hats still available? My mom was making left eye hats, and I believe we only have a few left. So don't quote me on this because they're in my storage, but I think we might have about three to okay. five left, if that. So if you do want a hat, send a private message. Um, I'd rather you send it to my Instagram because I really, you know, I don't really go on Facebook too often, but if you could send me a private message on Instagram, letting me know that you're interested in a hat and I will have someone get back to you on that and see if we have, see how many hats we have. Okay, Josh, you said oh, thank you, Angel. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, we're waiting on you, bro. Is Open still happening? Oh, the book Open. Lisa was working on a book called Open. Um, she didn't really get too far with it. So I'm not sure, you know, if that's going to happen or not. But I know um, Kuda and Court, Courtney, the sisters, uh, they were working on the book with her um so yeah i don't think she got far along enough for me to you know still do it okay so viv said that would be an amazing to hear her stuff in a poetry book i agree because at least wrote you see me hey Bo. so i got my friend on am oh, from scotland hey scotland Okay, she don't see you though, so hold on. Yeah, I, I can't see. To figure out how to do. This. I'm not gonna be able to see her because okay. um this way. I know, but sometimes when oh you're supposed to be there. You she can see me. Oh yes. Oh, you we can't it? just open it. Okay, open it. Oh, you have to open that. Okay. I need a left eye hat. Okay, here we go. But you can still turn it. Okay. Hey. 
I was gonna say you can still turn it the other way. She'll see me. I just won't see her. Here, open that all the way. Oops. This way. I I can see you now that she turned the phone around. I can see you now, but I couldn't see you before. It's a little too close. Hey. <laughs> it's just a little dark because the uh, sun's behind me. It's good to see you, my friend. supporting me and my family always do and I love you for that thank you oh man okay I know you would I love you too bye okay thank you bye Okay, yeah, now you can turn it around. Okay, so sorry about that. I'm on um, Instagram Live as well. Um, so any more questions? Can we see that footage? Um, yeah, you can see that footage if you're talking about the footage of um, when I did the surprise party, uh, Thailand. Tell me if you're talking about that. Yes, you can see it, not right now. Yeah, it will be included in some projects I'm working on for Lisa. Okay, who else? Arthur De Lorenzo. Hi, Arthur. Arthur was actually um, I, when I lived in LA. I used to rent a mailbox, um, and he was he worked at the mailbox, so he always stayed uh, connected ever since then. Hey, it's good to see you. Okay, let's see. Phil, I would love a left eye hat too. Phil, you have a left eye hat. What are you talking about? I know you have a left eye hat. <laughs> you got one. Uh, let's see. Hayden, would you ever cover a TLC song and do Lisa's rap? Of course. Anytime. Just, you know, just has to be the opportunity. Of course. I would do that in a heartbeat. Uh, let's see. Someone said football. Lisa, no. That's not what she wasn't good at. Someone said, said softball. Baseball. Someone said kickball. Someone said football. No. Okay, so if you guys are just joining us, of course, I'm Raindrop Lopez here celebrating with the fans my sister's birthday and there's a trivia question if you didn't hear it before lisa was good at mostly everything but it was one thing she was not good at and it was a sport first person to guess it i will send you something with lisa on it no one has guessed it's it yet it's not soccer gymnastics nope it's not it's gymnastics. Gymnastics. Sorry. bud hey bud do you know how to make the gumbo i've heard so much about it ha 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 Tangi said she'll make me some. I don't know how to make it. Tangi may know how to make it. I actually don't remember the recipe, but I know some people that were around oh, lefty. actually wrote down the recipe. Okay. Both hey, Toko. Both said kickball. Nope, not kickball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Toko. Toko's actually from Japan. She actually entered the uh, dance to have the Left Eye Music Fest, and her group won all the way from Japan. Hey. Someone guessed basketball, bowling, no. Swimming, no. Oh, somebody got it! Alexander. Okay, Queenie Alexander, you got the right answer. It was golf. <laughs> I guessed golf. That was golf. Okay, so here's the story. Okay, so me and Lisa... It's not swimming, it's golf. Okay. Me and Lisa went to this celebrity golf tournament years and years ago can't remember what city it was in, but it was called the Ray of Hope. It was Ray where he had a celebrity golf tournament. Okay. So she brings me with her, you know, we're there and it's time for the celebrities to play golf. 
you know, so, you know, we're rolling with maybe three or four other uh, guys, like the only females. So we get out there and neither of us had ever golfed before. I'm not talking about like little putt putt. I'm talking about like a real golf course. <laughs> so, you know, she gets up and she's so short that, you know, the golf puck, whatever you call it, like it's 10 feet away, you know, so she's holding it like that. And she hits the ball and it goes straight ahead. <laughs> and I just stood there and I was cracking up. I have that on video, okay? One day I'll show you guys, I have that on video. But it was just the funniest thing in the world. So I'm thinking like, hmm, this, this is gonna be really hard for me, you know, being as though Lisa couldn't do it. So I get up there and I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna hit this ball. Psh, hit it straight into the hole. <laughs> oh, so it didn't go in the hole? No, it didn't go in the oh. hole, but it went straight to the hole where Lisa's went straight ahead okay. when she hit it that way and it went this way. So. So, uh, let's see, let me, the person that send me a message reminding me that you won, okay, in the comments, but just, just send me a message. If I don't get the message, then I'm going to go to um, the next person that gets the golf, which is Ebony. Okay. Bud, Bud said soccer. Okay, Bud, I heard you made a lot of things for Lisa's event on the 29th. On the 29th, we are celebrating Lisa's event at, um, the, we're laying a new headstone. And Bud, he was gracious enough to make some plaques um, of Lisa. So I'm really grateful. My entire family's grateful for that, Bud. You're super creative. Thank you for that. Okay, somebody guessed volleyball. Okay, the trivia question was Lisa wasn't very good at was golf. So somebody actually uh, guessed that in one. Okay, let's see. Yes, Kim said Lisa had problems with the scuba gear. <laughs> she probably did. I was there, but I don't uh, remember that. I don't think I was at the scene when they were doing the um, scuba diving. Bye-bye to this Facebook Live. Bye, Facebook Live. That's yours. Bye, yeah. Belinda's Facebook Live. Okay, so, oh, somebody said wrestling. Snow is fine. She's growing up with a baby now. She's grown with a baby now. I don't think Snow has a baby. Let's see. Love you too, bud. No, Lisa was actually a good skater. Growing up, we all skated and could skate really good. Lisa could skate backwards, like, really well. I could skate backwards just a little bit. I ordered a shirt from Redbubble. Okay, good. Yes, I do have some shirts on Redbubble. Kevin Nail. Hey, Kevin. I'm a big fan. I miss her so much. Yeah, we all miss Lisa. But I always tell people, like, I miss her, but I feel her here all the time because she is still here, you know, just not in the physical body. I talk to her every day, and I'm sure she's here right now, you know. Tehran said, I met you through Shantae from STL at Left Eye Productions um, when Lisa was in Hawaii with Andre. Ida called Lisa for me. Okay. Reese Harrington. Hey, Raindrop, huge fan, very supportive. Hey, Reese. Uh, let's see. I love your mom. I have house phone number after Lisa passed, and she talked to me for hours. Yeah, my mom, she's really sweet. Your sister saved my life. Wow, Cordell, that's that's pretty deep. And I'm grateful for that. Let's see. Reply to Cordell. Let's see. IG. Let me um Okay. Okay, IG, I'm back with you guys. Okay, so now I'm focusing on IG, so Facebook, you can just listen to I mean, you can still see, but I'm going to be reading some of the IG things. Hey, guys. Okay, let's see who's on here. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, veteran. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Left eye. Left eye. Oh, okay, underscore. You are. Oh, thank you. First of all, I just want to say 
thank you to everyone who helps me continue my sister's legacy. Like, I feel that it's part of my to continue what she started, you know? It only makes sense to me, and no one else can do it, really, but me. And with the help of you guys, you know, Lisa loved her fans so much, and I've grown to love you guys so much as well. You know, you guys give me so much support that I need. Whenever there's haters out there, like, you guys come to the defense like crazy, and it makes me feel like I'm not alone. You know, it makes me feel like I'm not doing this um, by myself. So I appreciate Thank you so much. Lisa loved you. I love you. And there's a lot to come. I'm working on Lisa's book. Actually working on two books. One book is a memory book about people's memories of Lisa. And the other book will be her biography. And I'm working on her film, which I wanted to be a series. I think a series is more fitting because it's like you can't really fit somebody's um, entire life story into a two-hour movie. I mean, it's just impossible. So I always felt like that. So I want to do a, um, like a series. Okay. So let me look. Do you guys have any questions or anything? Let's see. This is like going so fast. Like how do, how do people like even read all this stuff? Like, I don't understand. Thank you so much for continuing, for continuing her legacy. I'm only 17. Oh, wow. And her music words and style are the reason I'm the strong young Lisa was all about that and that's what she wanted you know what I mean so I'm really 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 glad that you were inspired like that from my sis I mean she inspired me growing up to just be comfortable with myself when everyone else was judging me she wasn't so okay let's see you and your sister are very much loved. Thank you, Blanket. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Update about getting Supernova on streaming. Okay, okay. Been asked from everybody about the Supernova. Okay, we own Lisa's Masters, okay? So you don't have to go to anyone else and ask them to put Supernova on streaming. I'm working on it, okay? Working on a lot of other stuff. So just be patient. Timing is everything. You know, it's going to come out when it needs to come out. But just know that it's coming out and it is being worked on and your voices are being heard, you know. Okay? So let's see. Update. About, okay. If Lisa were here, would you think she been retired from music or keep going? Um... I don't think she would be retired from music, but I think she probably would be in her own way. You know, Lisa wanted to do a lot of other things outside of music. Music wasn't her first um, love. Her first love is just creating. Lisa came up with so many, um, what do you call it? Um, so many inventions. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. So one is it was called the cleanest penis. I know it sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> it was called the cleanest penis, and it was actually for women that are like, you know, you're out somewhere, and you have to use the bathroom, and you can't go to a public restroom. So it was actually designed, you know, to fit, you know, you know where you pee from, and it was like kind of funneled, so you could just stand up and pee, you know what I mean? It was dope, and it contoured like to, you know, your body. It was so funny because I went to Africa uh, for my friend's wedding, Shamia, a few years ago, and I was on the bus. They had like a charter bus, and this woman pulled out something, and it looked just like what Lisa invented, but it was called something else, but it was for women to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. standing up. And I was like, dang. I was like, dang, Lisa invented that like 20 years ago. <laughs> but she was always before her time. Okay, Kiki said... After I broke up with my boyfriend last year, I visited Lisa's gravesite and cried. Oh, that's so sweet. How was it like, this is all hot, a Houghton. How was it like meeting Tian and Chili for the first time? Wow, I mean, that was so long ago. Um, I don't really remember, remember, but because TLC first came out, you know, I wasn't aware how big the group was, you know, because... This was just my sister, and I was just going to meet her friends. 
So at that point, you know, I just like looked at them as my sister's friends um, until TLC got more established. And then I realized, you know, how big they were. But um, yeah, they were like big sisters. Let's see. Bella. I met her at the camp market. She was so nice and poured into me and my boyfriend. Love the music and the legacy. I love hearing stories about Lee. Seriously. When is Supernova going to be released? Okay, so for those of you who just came on, I was um, talking about this earlier. Supernova is going to be released streaming. My family owns her masters, so I'm just waiting for the right time because I am working on other projects of Lisa's. So a lot of things happening at one time is overwhelming. So, you know. I have to pace it and I have to put it out at the right time with the right people. And um, so, bored. but it will be out, okay? Promise. Okay, let's see. When will the series documentary come out? Okay, working on a series of Lisa's life. I do not have a release date for it yet because I'm actually still working with the writer and um, that point where I know when it's going to be out or, you know, kind of know, I will let you guys know. I mean, you're the most important part of, you know, the fans. So you guys will be the first to know. Well, besides the people working on it with me, you guys will be the second to know. Okay. Triplet. What's the Lopez family doing for Lisa Spit? Oh, I'm here with you guys. What better place to be? I mean, there's no better place to be than with Lisa's fans because that's why she was who she was. Half of it's because of you guys. Let's see. Left eye was super nurturing spirit. I always felt that from her, the times I was in her presence. Okay, that was, I can't read the name of that person. More over it, Mr. Oh, Mr. Over it. That's funny. Um. Okay, does she have any unreleased interviews or anything? I would love some Lisa knowledge. Released um, interviews. Um, I know I found some cassette tapes with interviews on them, so I'm gonna use those. Uh, for uh. Lisa's documentary will be in a series. What? Well, it's not going to be, um, well, actually, I think I'm going to do both. I'm going to do another documentary just with a lot of footage because we have so much footage. It's a lot of footage. And then I'm going to do um, the series as well, which will be like acting, you know, like somebody will be acting her. Lisa would still be putting out groups. I love the underdog, let me tell you this. Lisa liked focusing on people that other people wouldn't give the time of day to. So. Des, hey Des. I don't know if that says titles. I don't know what that means. You just wrote titles, Des. Okay, let's see, what else? Liggity, liggity would have been doing TV shows. Yes, she would have been t doing TV shows. I don't know if some of you guys know, but Lisa actually auditioned for the um, Josie and the Pussycats, that movie. It was years ago, but she actually I'm going to visit the grave again. Okay. Well, the next time you visit the grave site, you'll see the new headstone because we are laying it on the 29th. Somebody's cracking up. I don't know why, but it's good to laugh. So <laughs> let's all laugh. Okay, let's see. I think Lisa would go for sure. And Lisa actually, she wrote a um, a rock song when we were in Honduras, the last time we were in Honduras. So she was looking to do some rock music as well. Family. I have another trivia question. Okay, so we already had one trivia question and it was what sport was Lisa not good at? Someone got that, it was golf? Question. What's my favorite song uh, from Lisa? 
if someone could guess that, I'll send them something with Lisa on it, okay? My favorite song. So I'm only going to be on here for like a few more minutes because, what time is it being? It's uh, 8.15. Okay. I'm only going to be on here for like 15 more minutes. I have to, you said it's 8.15? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I have to get off uh, like 8.30, 8.33. But, um, wait, what was the trivia question I just asked him? Oh, yeah, what, what's Your my favorite, favorite song, song from Lisa? Yeah, my favorite rap. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not neglecting you, Facebook. I'm really not. I focused on you guys for like the first half. So let me see. King Ronald said, does the Lopez family have a relationship with Tiana Chili? Yes, there'll always be family. Reese said, Lisa helped me get through so much in my life. My dream of meeting her never came true. Well, Reese, you know, that might be true in the physical sense, but, you know, you can still talk to Lisa. Trust me, she'll hear you. Treya, Treya, hey, Treya. Let's see. Okay, last question, Joshi. Is eye for an eye, watch the world, Together we dance, even never being heard. People have talked about them over the years. I'm sure they're amazing. Well, I'm not sure. I can't really answer that question because I would have to uh, go through all the files and make sure we have them all. So I'm not sure, Joshi. Okay, let's see. Okay, some waterfalls as far as my favorite. Kick your game. Um, no, Universal Quest, no. Let's see. Guessing what my favorite song by Lisa is. My favorite rap. Uh, I think it's hard to read because I have all these colors on. Birds. Uh, let's see. This is like a net. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like day. bothering me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, billion, oh. Their grind set. Whenever I am going through something, I play Shackles by Mary Mary and feel like Lisa is telling me, let go and live my greatness. Song by Mary Mary. They actually played it at her funeral. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. <laughs> hey, Bo. Okay, let's see. Anyone else guessing songs? Okay, Breed. Someone said Breed. No. Someone said Never Will I Ever. No. Universal Quest. No. Girl Talk. No. Okay, let's see. Let me go to... You guys know I really don't go live, so just bear with me. Okay. I Believe in Me. No. Her ah! Somebody got it! Jess... JJ Just... Send me a DM underscore J J U S S T Y Y C E E. She got it. Okay. So just dice C send me a DM. You got it. My favorite song by Lisa is my life. And it's because it's about her like personal stuff. So that's, that's why it's my favorite. My life. Okay. On Facebook, someone guessed my life. Something that song but it's not my favorite because the my life hits close to home hey roman you guessed my life i think you already knew because you used to be my assistant but yes yeah, someone else got it yes it's my life so please send me a dm and remind me so i don't forget to send you your uh your gift with lisa on it will there be an ep of lisa yes Eventually, I'll put out some EPs, but like I was saying earlier, I don't really like messing with Lisa's music. I like leaving it the way, you know, she did it already. So whatever we have that's not out, you know, I'll definitely try to put that out. But I'm not sure how many uh, remixes uh, I would do uh, with stuff that is already out there. Uh, Ty Hunter said, my friend Courtney and Erica got to meet Lisa. I've always wanted to meet her. Yes, actually... Courtney, Kuda, they were artists, and Lisa actually met them through, I think, um, maybe MySpace online or email, and um, loved their creativity, and she actually flew them from New York to Atlanta, and they were actually living with her, 
and they were living with her. They were, you know, helping her with the book open and some other creative stuff. So, in um, projects she was working on, I said that to her. So. Roman. Okay. Well, if you're my friend or working, answer the questions because that wouldn't be fair. Can we do more questions? Yes. May wait. Oh, wait. What the heck? Oh, sorry. I just pressed something. I love your sister. I love her too. How do you cope with losing your sister? Okay, that's actually a really, really good question. Um, and it's not really a one word answer, but I, it might sound weird, but I actually feel closer to Lisa now because she's with me all the time. You know, as before, sometimes she would be in another country. I might not see her for like weeks or, you know, sometimes even a month. But now I talk to her all the time. And so to me, she hasn't gone anywhere. Her body did, but she really hasn't gone anywhere. So, I mean, it depends on your beliefs. You know, like your belief system, I think, has a lot to do with coping with a lost loved one. Um, you have to look in here, you know. If you can't go inside, then you'll probably have more uh, problems coping. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess that's the way I can answer that. But doing stuff for Lisa helps as well, you know. Having these moments with the fans, having um, celebrations for her, because it feels like, you know, I'm still iron, I'm still relevant. Do you think Lisa is pleased with the TLC biopic or would, um, or would she have changed? Um, well, I'm not Lisa, so I can't answer that, but what I can say is the TLC biopic didn't really show what really happened. That's all I can really say. So, but that's why I'm working on Lisa's movie. Oh, let's see. Affirmation 93. Lisa symbolizes so much to me. Being a 90s kid, she reminds me of so many great memories shared with Oh, shoot. I keep losing. Um, memory shared with some close to me who are no longer here physically. Yeah. Rain said her favorite verse was my life. Yes, it's my life. Can't tell my mind. Okay, guys. I want Stanford. Okay, Facebook. How you guys doing on Facebook? I I'm sorry. That biopic was not a real story. Well, I mean, it was somebody's story. Uh, let's see. My idol, Master P, once said that he and Left Eye were cool. Any truth to that? I mean, I'm sure if Master P said it, I mean, he doesn't have a reason to lie. So, I'm sure they were. Do you like the song, My Secret Enemy? Yes, I love the song, My Secret Enemy. Yeah, I actually really love that song. Cordell. Don Lewis drop what up? Hey Don with the dilly yo. <laughs> All right guys, I have to get ready to go. What time is it be? Okay, you guys, I got six minutes, six minutes. And I'm so sorry, trust me, that I can't see all the questions because it's too many of my colors are like making it hard for me to read it if I put my gloves Okay, I can actually see it much better. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna scroll down to that. Okay, any more questions? Love you, Raindrop. Love you, Roman. Any memories with Lisa and Pac? Um, Pac was around a lot. My brother and mom met him, but unfortunately, I did not meet Tupac in person. So, yeah. Okay, let me put my glove up. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to read this question. Okay, let's see. What do you think Lisa would be doing in her older age? Would have loved to see her at 50. Well, I think she would be creating. 
you know, just doing something creative, you know, you know, Lisa was into a lot of stuff that now is just coming to, um, to fruition, you know, like with technology, when she had the Ionetics website, you know, that was so far advanced where people, you know, now are just doing websites like that. So Lisa probably would have been doing um, a lot of um, technical stuff as far as uh, maybe like AI and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. How many of you um, want to see, because I don't know how you fans feel. I'm okay with it. But as far as you fans, how many want to see a, um, what do they call it? Um, they did it with Tupac, like he was on stage. What is that called? A hologram. Would you guys, like, how do you guys feel about that? that would be dope. You know, like, I think it would be dope. That would be and dope. I know for a fact, Lisa would think it would be dope. So that's why I would be okay with it. But I don't know how the fans feel. You know, how do you guys feel about that? Do you want to see? Um, I mean, would you be okay with that? Or a hologram of Lisa? How many people are for the hologram? Thumbs up for the hologram. Thumbs down for not. Side intelligence. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely for it. I think it would be dope. And you will be amazed. Live, let me live. Inside, inside. Hey, Neon. Okay, Neon says yes for the hologram. Okay. You think? Okay. All right, well, that's something that um may be out in the future. You never know. I know. Okay, let's see. Take it or leave it. It would be <clears throat> definitely be, wait, I can't read it. Definitely be emotional. Yes, I agree. It would definitely be emotional. But I think it would be dope. Want to dance with the hologram. Okay, guys. Well, it's been real. It's been real fun with you guys. Facebook, I didn't forget about you guys. Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate everyone. It's all love all the time. And if I don't get back to anyone, just know that it's not because I don't care. Like I'm only one person and I am handling my sister's legacy. So I mean, it's hard for me to always get back to everyone, but I do get back to some people. There's a movie coming out. I don't have a date for the movie. I'm working on it now. I'm working with a writer. Um, so information that I can release you guys will be the second people to know it looked like three but I meant like second like two okay okay well thank you guys bye you never heard this song in my life you never heard that song that's one of the uh, remixes we did Okay, guys, thank you so much. Um, no, I won't be going live later. Actually, I have to get ready um, for something else I have to do. So, bye, and thank you so much, people. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Inside, inside intelligence. Okay, end video. Uh, let's see. Download video. Share IGTV. I guess I can share it through IGTV. Okay. Uh, can you do this? You know how to do this? Okay, Facebook, thank you to everyone who came on, and I'm sorry that this is my first time going live, but I appreciate everyone. You, oh, you want me to sing Rock the Riddle? Ah, because it's another song playing, like, it's hard for me to, you know, get into Let's see, is there anything I can do that I can think of off the top of my head? Um, let's see. Uh. Uh, let's see. My daughter used to dress up as Left Eye when she was eight years old when we went to TLC concerts. Oh, that's so dope. Sorry, you guys. If you guys didn't know I burped, you know now. Um, let's see. Hologram would break my heart. It's so surreal. Cordell. Hey, girl, when is the movie coming out? Okay, let's see. Tan, Tan Robinson. Just sending love, positive light, and vibration to you and your family. What's that noise? <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of a verse I can just think of off the top of my head um, to do real quick. Uh, let me see. Um, 
let's see. Um, I, I guess I could just do, I guess I could just do waterfalls. Long live, left eye. Oh, you, okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Start out. I promise you, I know how it starts out, but it's like when I hear another song. Me too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, B. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay, guys. Do something. I'll just do water. Okay, I seen a rainbow yesterday, but too many storms have come. I give them rain. I said because my life is ten shades of gray. I pray all time for the sunny days, and like his promise is true, only my faith can undo the man to bring my life to a new, clear blue and unconditional sky to dry the tears from my eyes. No more lonely cries. My only bleeding hope is for the folk who can't cope with such an enduring pain that it keeps them in the pouring rain. Who's to blame for tooting cane into your own vein? What a shame you shoot name for someone else's brain. You claim the insane and name the state in time for falling prey to crime. I say the system got you victim to your own mind. Dreams of hopeless aspirations and so <laughs> and hopes are coming true. Believe in yourself. The rest is up to me and you. Whoa. Sorry, I must have read the end, but hey, I'm human. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thank you for coming on, celebrating my sister's birthday for me. That was just for you guys. Peace, Marsha. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Dang, I was hoping I would get through that. Bitch, what's up, Mom? Sorry, <laughs> 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 <laughs>